Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're going to take a look at a monitor from Gigabyte. This is a gaming monitor which is reasonably priced and offers high refresh gaming. Whether or not you're going to be into curved monitors, that is down to the individual. So, this is the Gigabyte G27FC. Now, the C at the end stands for curved. This has a 1500R radius, so it's actually quite a shallow curve. So, for those of you that are not entirely keen on curved monitors, this actually, in practice, doesn't really appear to be that curved. And when you're looking at it straight on, it just looks like a regular monitor. But there is definitely a very slight curve to it. So for me, with uh, slightly older eyes, this is definitely a plus. Now, if you want the flat version of this, just go for the G27F, which you may find at similar or even cheaper prices. This is a 27-inch panel using VA technology and is a 1080p resolution. Refresh rates up to 165 hertz. So for you uh, twitchy gamers out there, this should be absolutely fine, and you don't need to spend an absolute fortune. This retailed originally around about the kind of 250 pounds mark when it first came out. It has dropped significantly since then to around about the 180 mark, and you can quite often find it on sale for somewhere in the region of about 150 to 160. Of course, as always, we will put affiliated links in the video description so you can check out local pricing to you. And I should also say that affiliated links will generate a small commission for us, so it doesn't cost you anything else, but it does go some way to helping out the channel. So let's drill through and uh, take a look at what we've got. So in terms of connectivity, pretty much everything you could want there. So you're looking at DisplayPort 1.2, one port there. You've got two HDMI's, so that's HDMI 1.4. Sadly, not HDMI 2.1, so newer consoles are gonna miss out on some of those cool features, such as a variable refresh rate. But don't worry, for PC users, when you plug this in, it does support FreeSync Premium, so you're gonna have that nice clean display without any of those nasty jaggies or wobbling also, this thing has a headphone jack, so if you're maybe considering getting this for maybe your kids or something, it's going to be up in their bedroom, you don't want to be hearing CSGO playing all day, or whatever their game of choice is, then they can plug in a set of headphones using the 3.5mm jack. Another cool feature of this also has a built-in USB 3.0 hub. So there's two USB Type-A ports, USB 3.0, and also there's a Type-B port, using that as an uplink to your computer. You can, of course, if you want to, plug that into a console and daisy chain things off there, the choice is down to you. The USB port also doubles up as a very convenient way of connecting this to your PC. You can install an application from Gigabyte known as the OSD Sidekick. You can download this and install it and then you can take control of the monitor actually on your Windows desktop PC. So any little settings you want to change, you can do from inside the application. Now I will say, using this on Windows 11, it did throw up a few issues with the drivers saying that they weren't compatible or that they were vulnerable. So potentially you're taking your life into your own hands with that. But don't worry, if you want to make any adjustments on the fly, there's a really easy little button on the back and a joystick control so you can navigate through the menu. And it's actually quite a nice menu to navigate. Nipple style controller on the back actually makes a big difference. I'm really past having all these buttons on the bottom. It's really nice to have that joystick control. So choose that or install the app, up to you. Whether you're planning to put this on the desk with the included stand, obviously you can do, and the stand is actually pretty decent, nice sturdy stand, nice big feet on the bottom to stop it wobbling around. And also you've got 130 mil of travel in the up and down, and also 25 degrees of tilt. Unfortunately, there's no swivel or pivot on this, Realistically, I think it's a gaming monitor, so it's not really designed to have that. I think the swivel might have been a good idea, but it certainly is a nice stand, very robust. And again, if it's going into a kid's bedroom or something, it's probably going to stand the test of time. For those of you who want a little bit more flexibility, you can wall mount this. There is a VESA 100 mounting on the back, four screws, take them out, put your stand on, and you're good to go. So let's talk about the colors and the technology. So this is a VA panel. With that, you've got a contrast ratio of 3000 to one. You can enable the dynamic contrast, which will give you 12 million to one. The choice is yours. You have also got a viewing angle of 78 degrees. And actually walking around there when I've been doing some filming, it's actually been really good. And even though it has a curve, it's still very easy to watch or use on pretty much any angle. It actually has quite a wide color gamut as well. So if you're using this for content creation or just watching movies, things on YouTube, you're gonna have no problems at all. You've got 139% of the sRGB range and also the DCI P3 range of 90%. Although some people have tested this previously and said it actually scores considerably higher and also has a delta of 0.22, which actually for a relatively budget monitor, actually pretty good figures indeed. 
Now we should talk about the refresh rate and the response time. So refresh rate up to 165 hertz. This is going to be on DisplayPort if you're using the HDMI because it is HDMI 1.4, you're going to be limited to 144 hertz, which is still absolutely fine for most people. I have actually used my open source response time testing tool to get the real figures out of this. They do quote, as monitors generally do, a one millisecond response time using MPRT. And I'm, um, uh, yeah, it's not quite there. It's not a million miles off, and if I'm to be slightly generous, it gets somewhere around the three milliseconds mark at best case scenario. So yeah, as always, take the one millisecond response time thing with a large grain of salt. Something which is actually pretty cool on this, you've got various different overdrive settings on here and actually testing between all of them, I found there to be very little difference at all. And actually the overshoot is pretty much fantastic, whichever one you choose. So don't worry too much about overshoot. So just find a overdrive which actually suits you. Now I have found as well, with this, a lot of people say with VA panels, you get that smearing effect and actually scrolling through applications and stuff, it's been absolutely fine. I haven't noticed it at all. Maybe it's just the sites I've been visiting or going through, but the ones I normally see that kind of trail behind or that ghosting effect, I haven't seen on here. So well done to Gigabyte for that. It does actually seem to be very good in terms of that VA smearing. So using on the desktop is absolutely fine and moving your windows around, it feels nice and smooth and fluid. But probably what most of you are wondering is actually what is it like for gaming? So I've played a selection of games on here, varying different types. So we'll start off with some Microsoft Flight Simulator. This basically doesn't challenge the monitor at all. It looks great, the colors are very accurate and it feels very smooth and fluid. Moving on to some slightly faster paced games such as CS2. That again, very good, very nice response time. Although I was playing it with a wireless keyboard and mouse from a distance so my gameplay wasn't brilliant, but certainly the image looked fantastic. Another favorite of mine is the Breakfast. Played some Breakfast on here. And actually, again, the colors look great, no smearing and the response times were as you'd expect from a decent quality gaming monitor. Overall, I've got no complaints here whatsoever. When it comes to movies or just watching videos, again, the same applies. The colors are very nice, very vivid, and it just looks and feels very, very pleasant indeed. They do have the technologies built in here to reduce fatigue on your eyes and all that kind of stuff as you'd expect from modern monitors. So yeah, it does live up to that. It is very pleasant to use. Some other features it's got in terms of gaming, if you want to delve into them. So some people just like to have the kind of the raw experience and I totally get that. But if you want to, you can actually use this monitor with some other features enabled. It does have a feature called Game Assist, uh, which will enable things such as a crosshair on the screen. So if you're using your sniper weapons, you don't want to have to keep on toggling between zoom and your normal view, then you can use the crosshair to give you that slight advantage. There's also a black equalizer as well. So if you're zooming in on slightly darker scenes, it reduces the blacks there so you can still see what is going on. So if you're trying to snipe someone in the shadows, it makes it a little bit easier. Talking of sniping as well, there is actually a zoom stabilizer. Now I don't entirely understand how this works. And actually I didn't seem to notice any difference at all, but yeah, it's a feature. You can use it if you want to, but I basically didn't notice it one way or the other. So overall, what are my thoughts on this? Well, for me, it's perfect because it's a 27 inch monitor, 1080p, 165 Hertz, and it looks great. It's cost effective. What more could you want? Now, in terms of that, again, like I said, you don't have the swivel or the pivot, which would have been nice to have. And there are going to be some people that don't like having a 27 inch screen at 1080p because it just doesn't seem that high resolution. Now, if that is the case, you can go for the G27QC, which is the Quad HD, 1440p. This is the FC model. And I think this is probably the one to go for in terms of pricing and for general use. Now, of course, it depends on what it is you're using it for. Like I said, many times already, if you're putting this into a kid's bedroom for gaming on the console or the PC, this is going to be absolutely great. It isn't going to cost you a fortune. And if it's a slightly lower end PC, that free sync technology is going to be really helpful with those uh, jagged edges and all that kind of blurring that you sometimes get on lower end PCs. Also because it's 27 inch, I think 1080p, 27 inch for gaming is pretty much the sweet spot. It allows you to actually get a little bit further back if you want to, or perhaps if your eyesight isn't quite as sharp as it used to be, then yeah, it does make things a lot nicer to see. Anyway, I think this is a great monitor. Prices will be in the video description, links and all that kind of stuff so you can check out how cheap it is near you. I should also say big shout out to Gigabyte UK for sending this out for review purposes. We don't get to keep it, it is going back after this review. 
And again, if you've got any comments or questions on this, please feel free to let us know in that comments section below. I think that's going to wrap this one up. Very impressed overall. Hopefully you've liked the video. If you have, smash the like button. If you want to see more content on this on a daily basis, maybe consider hitting subscribe and the chime notification. That way you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews now too. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.